Hello friends, welcome to EPG Patshala. My name is Ashia. I am from GD Goenka University. Today we will be discussing housekeeping module. The name of the module is Swing Room. After completing this module, students will be able to understand the concept of swing room, explain the activities of tailor room, identify various types of sewing machines, list various equipments used in sewing room, describe duties and responsibilities of a tailor. Let's talk about sewing room. Sewing room is an area allocated for all the fabrics related work which is used in the hotel, uniforms, hotel linen, soft furnishings and guest clothing. Example, stitching, mending, altering, etc. are carried out. It should be a part of linen room operations and may be located in the linen or uniform room or serve both these areas. A well-run sewing room can definitely be an economy for a large organization. Many hotels maintain a separate sewing room with tailors and seamstresses to do jobs like stitching, mending and repairing uniforms, linen and furnishings. Some hotels may outsource the swing functions if the volume of business demands or in case of constraint of space. The swing room is managed by the linen keeper with a team of tailors, upholsters and seamstresses. The timings kept by the swing room are the same as for the linen room. There is 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. or they can work in a journal shift from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. As they may not be required at the beginning or end of the linen room work shift. They, they usually do not work in night, night shifts. Swing room task. Swing room is responsible for the following tasks like designing, stitching, altering and mending uniforms. It includes hemming, stitching of hooks, button, repair to torn pockets, replacements of zips, etc. are taken care by the section of linen room. Stitching and patching of table linen and various F&B linen like serviettes, jubon, neperons, tablecloths, etc. Making makeovers or cutting down from condemned linen into still usable forms for guest areas or staff areas. Makeovers are rarely used in guest areas. A discarded or condemned bed sheet can be made over into a pillowcase or a discarded tablecloth can be cut down to a perfectly usable serviette. Making crib size sheets, blankets and pillowcases. Sewing soft furnishings such as draperies and bedspreads, special requisition is required for the same. Repairing curtains and bed sheets, etc. Whatever is an expensive item and requires a minimum of repair to put it in order or be, in of, or be of use. Mending of linen and uniforms. Frayed parts and tears frequently occurs in towels, tables and bed linen. These are repaired by machine darning, patching, repairing flaps of pillowcases and torn pockets are common swing tasks. Ideally, mending should be carried out before laundering, but dealing with soiled or wet articles is unpleasant. So, mending is usually done on laundered articles. State forward ordering machine is done for hems on sheets and towel and table linen. New items which require state stitching like bed sheets and tablecloths may be made. Repairing guest clothing. This can be done on request and charges may or may not be leaved as per hotel policy. Machine marking and monogramming may be carried out. For making linen, it is usual to mark on the right side of the article, on the wrong side, the name of the hotel and the department and the date it was put into circulation. The letter shows the wearing quality of the article and helps to estimate the lifespan of the article. Layout of sewing room. Activities area provided space for work tables cutting tables space for ironing two or three sewing machines with storage come work tables alongside storage space for items to be mended or altered cupboards for storing accessories storage space for rolls of fabric uniforms curtains etc now we will talk about the location and design of sewing room 
The sewing room is generally adjacent to the linen room as the linen keeper is responsible for it. Ventilation. The sewing room should be airy and well ventilated. Lighting. It should be well lit with the combination of general lighting for overall illumination and task lighting for areas where stitching, darning tasks are earned out to protect eyes from strain. The flooring. The floor should be smooth, strong, non-slippery and easy to clean. Walls. The walls should be smooth and easy to maintain while being painted in light colors. Pest control. Regular pest control is essential for the safety of the fabric from attacks of pests, especially on wool and silk. Fire safety. Fire safety precautions are defined for the linen room are required here as well. Fire safety and preventive equipment. Electrical safety. Proper earthing of electrical connections. Finger guards. The swing machine must be equipped with the guard permanently attached to the machine so that the operator fingers cannot pass under the needle. Cleaning schedules. Dust and lint from synthetic fabrics can be uncomfortable and a health hazard so that swing room should be cleaned in nights. This includes vacuuming shelves and vents, dusting and vacuuming or damp mopping the floors. Well planned exit and entrance. One secure exit or entry for controlling movement as it store a lot of material, fabrics, etc. What are the equipments required in swing room? The swing room normally contains heat patching machines for neat repairs of holes in table linens and bed linen. Two or three swing machines able to stitch varying thickness of fabrics. Different runner attachments that facilitate zigzag stitching, edging, mending, mending and darning are desirable. Two three swing machines able to stitch varying thickness of fabrics different runner attachments that facilitate zigzag stitching, edging, mending and darning are desirable. Blind stitch or interlocking machines, especially useful for hems, fabrics, edges of garments and uniforms. A zigzag machine for mending, darning, buttons, swing and monogramming. Marking or tagging machines for making guest garments and staff uniforms. Miscellaneous small items include spare bobbins, machine needles of varying thickness, darning needles, machine oil, machine repair kit, measuring scale, thimbles for protecting fingers and during swing, buttons and hooks, pins and zips, a heavy steam iron for ironing board, mannequin, different color threads, scissors, cutting boards, measuring tape, tailor's chalk, velcro, Ripper, buckram. For keeping swing machines to good conditions, they need to be oiled at the end of the day. The dust in the bobbins cases must be brushed out. The work table should be cleaned. Types of swing machines. There are two types of swing machines according to the place of use, like in which place you are using it or it is intended to use either in industry or at home. Two types of swing machine are as follows industrial swing machines or home or domestic swing machines let's talk about industrial swing machines industrial swing machines are intended for factory use some machines are designed to make shirts cuffs and some are designed to put waistband in jeans these machines are built specifically to do long term and professional tasks these constructions are made up to highly durable parts and motors the gears, housing, connecting rods and body of the industrial swing machines are made up of high quality material like cast iron aluminium. These machines are larger in size compared to domestic machines. These industrial swing machines are, can perform a large number of tasks in minimum time. They are costlier than the domestic swing machines. They are more genetic, generic. A motor of any industrial machine can work on any brand. Overlocker or straight stitch machines are same. Swing feet and bobbin between brands also interchangeable. The motor in the industrial machine have separate components and mounted to the underside of the table. 
they have usually two types of motors servo motors they are used less electricity and silent when not in use second is clutch motors it always spins even when not in use the industrial swing machines are mainly four types according to the design of their arm and needle post they are flat bed post bed cylindrical bed of the arm if you want to start an industry for garments shoes they should use then you should use opt for the industrial swing machines it is not for small businesses flat bed the construction and design of the flat bed swing machine is similar to the traditional swing machine because in this the arm and the needle extended to the flat base of machine like the traditional swing machine it is mainly used for swing flat pieces of fabric together next is cylindrical bed this is the opposite to flat bed they have a narrow and horizontal column because of this the fabric passed around and under the column the diameter of cylinder varies from 5 cm to 16 cm it is used for sewing cylindrical pieces like cuffs it is also used to sew sandals and shoes post bed these machines have vertical column arise above the flat base of a machine the height of the vertical vertical column is 10 to 45 cm these have bobbins feed dogs loopers in the vertical column post bed machines are used for attaching emblems boot making and gloves making last of the arm these are not much common in this type of machine the worker needs to feed material along the axis of horizontal column it is useful in seaming sleeves and shoulders now we will talk about domestic sewing machines domestic sewing machines are built for household use these machines can handle a variety of materials these machines can handle a variety of materials these can perform every task but these machines cannot do heavy task these might have made of made up of plastic or nylon gears These machines work at a slower pace and intended for people who work slowly. These machines can work up to 5 hours. If it will work more than 5 hours then the motor may become hot. Apart from uses, the sewing machines also classified according to the functions and facilities available. On this, the domestic sewing machines are of four types: manual sewing machines, electrical sewing machines, computerized swing machines overlocker swing machines let's talk about manual swing machines manual swing machines are the most basic type of swing machine they do not require electric power to run them although these have lesser features compared to electronic and computerized swing machines but they are but they are the most used swing machines because of their durability These are available as vintage models. They require more physical work from the user. These have a wheel in the side and a foot pedal. The user uses a foot pedal to run the machine. These are made up of metals. They can consume all materials, but they are better suited for light and medium weight materials. Electronic swing machine. An electronic swing machine has a single motor. This motor gives power to the needle. They have electronic foot pedal. The speed of the machine can be controlled by putting pressure on the electronic foot pedal. The user can control the fabric with both the hands. This is a dial. There is a dial in the side of the electronic swing machine which controls the type of stitch and length. Some electronic swing machines also contain automatic tension setting. automatic thread cutter and automatic button hole stitch these can perform a variety of stitches they can sew multiple fabrics and broad volume volume of stitch patterns computerized sewing machines these type of machines are for advanced needs they do not contain dials and buttons they have led display or lcd display or large touch screen these have a vast number of functions The basic computerized sewing machines can remember few previous sewing projects and can automatically set the tension. The more advanced computerized 
sewing machines can sew the complex embroidery stitches. These machines also have USB ports available so that the user can create their design on a computer and then link it to the machine. Then they can set their personalized patterns. These machines are most costly than manual and electronic sewing machines. Still they are being used because they can sew all types of material at a faster rate. Next is overlocker machine. These type of machines sew over the edge of one, two pieces of clothes for edging, hemming or seaming. They automatically cut the edges and sew. The cutter present in the overlocker machine allows these machines to create thickened scans easily and quickly. These are also called sergers in North America. Some machines are also available without cutters. These machines run at high speed from 1000 to 9000 RPM. These are mostly used in industries for edging, hemming and seaming. These machines have fewer functions than sewing machines. They use 2 to 9 threads and multiple needles to create an overcast stitch. They are an addition to regular sewing machines, not a replacement. They are used for decorations, overlocking and is also called overedging. Marrowing sewing machines also being divided into eight types. Depending on their function means, types of stitches they make. These are lock stitch machine, over edging machine, embroidery machine, button holder machine, button attachment machine, double needle machine, bar taking swing machine. First of all, we will talk about lock stitch swing machine. These type of swing machine generally use two threads one upper and one lower. Both the upper and lower threads lock together in the hole in the fabric. There is a spindle on the top of machine where the spool is kept. A tension mechanism is produced and the spindle spins and the thread run from spool through the arm and finally through the needle. The lower thread is present in the bobbin. The bobbin is kept in case which is present in the lower section of the machine. Next is over edging machine. These type of machines sew over the edge of one, two pieces of cloth for edging, hemming or skimming, seaming. These automatically cut the edges and sew. The cutter present in overlock machines allows these machines to create thickened seams easily and quickly. These are also called sergers in North America. Some machines are also available without cutters. These machines run at a high speed from 1000 to 9000 RPM. They are mostly used in industries for edging, hemming and seaming. These machines have fewer functions than swing machines. They use 2 to 9 threads and multiple needles to create an overcast stitch. They are an addition to regular sewing machines, not a replacement. They are used for decoration, overlocking, or it is also called overedging, marrowing. Next is embroidery machine. Embroidery machines are meant for embroidery work. They do embroidery work on fabrics. Embroidery also can be done by a normal zigzag machine. This type of embroidery is called free motion embroidery. The embroidery machine are computerized machine. They contain a large colored touch screen and USB interface and auto threading inbuilt design software, embroidery advisor software and the design file storage system. Button holder machine. Button holder machine are meant to make button holes. The button holder is an attachment for a swing machine. Nowadays, the most modern machines have this button holder functions inbuilt, which many older machines don't have. Any swing machine that are capable of making lock stitch can make button holes with the button holder attachment. Button att attachment machine. The machine are used for attaching buttons in fabrics. Normal chain stitch and lock stitch can also be used for this. Button attachment machine is a simple automatic machine in which button is attached automatically. 
Next, we will talk about bar tacking sewing machine. In sewing bar tack is known as a series of stitches made to hide any wear or tear in garments. The typical areas of bar tack stitches are button holes, belt loops, pocket opening, pleats and corners of collars. Bar tacks can also be done by hand using whip stitches or by machine using zigzag stitches. These type of machines mostly used for increasing strength in the corner of pockets, attaching belt loops at the end of the zipper. Double needle swing machines. The double needle swing machine uses two needles and two bobbins. So it forms two parallel row of lock stitch. The distance between the two parallel stitches depends upon the distance between the two needles in the needle bar. The distance can be adjusted they are used for making decorative stitches. Now we will talk about job description of a tailor. He or she is answerable to linen or uniform room supervisor or assistant housekeeper. Minimum education qualification required for this profession is at least 10th class. Minimum of 5 years of experience is required for the job. He has to attend morning briefings and receive instructions of all the day room. He takes measurement of new employees and delivers custom uniform promptly. Mend all damaged linen and uniforms according to the standards of daily usage. Refurbish all damaged upholstery. He gave estimation for the material required to the supervisor and asked him or her to requisite them. Maintains a proper record of materials taken from the store and about their usage. Pre-shrinks the material that shrinks, cut material with minimum wastage, keep work area neat and clean, check the quality of furniture, frames, etc., springs, example springs, woodwork, form, etc., before upholster them. Keep accessories safely and is accountable for them. Return excess material to the stores. He is accountable for upkeep of the equipment used for work. He has the authority to reject the defective material, equipment and accessories. He coordinates with the store for materials and supplies, with housemen for cleaning of spaces, with human resource department for new employees, uniforms, alterations and mending. And then I want to summarize the complete module. Swing room is situated in every five star hotel, usually in the basement adjacent to linen room. This section is supervised by linen keeper, but all work is done by appointed tailor and seamstress only. This section is responsible for, for following tasks like stitching, mending, altering, upholsteries, etc. Various swing machines are also well explained for better understanding and to plan according to the operations requirement. Swing room layout is also given with a huge list of equipments used. Ventilation, lighting, flooring, walls, fire safety, electrical safety, finger guards, cleaning schedules should be considered for planning for properly while planning or designed a swing room in a hotel. Thank you.